Hi everyone, LP here. And uh, about a week ago, I got contacted by some guy and saying, hey, we got this great product. We'd like you to take a look at it and see what you think about it. Your, your followers might be interested in it. And I was like, okay. Forgot all about it. Uh, got back uh, from the trip yesterday and this was in my P.O. box. Uh, and uh, so I opened it up, started looking at it, and it was like, wow, this is kind of impressive. So doing a couple tests on it. I want to show them to you real quick. I think you're really going to be interested in this product. Um, and um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's the first thing I've ever seen that's like, like this that isn't got that whole Chinese feel to it. All right, so let's get into it. So, there's the package. I've obviously already opened it. I wanted you guys to see what was inside of it. Uh, opening this up, what we have is a RF cloaking device for anything you want to put in it. It's pretty interesting. The official manual for the Criesta EMF sleeve there we go hopefully that's not upside down. i have a feeling this is all upside down but anyway we're going to take a shot at it guys uh, it's actually a very simple sleeve it has multiple layers on it and uh, i'm going to put some graphics up here on the screen so that you guys can see stuff directly from uh, their website they only sell it on amazon uh, i'm not sure why they decided to do that but that is what they did uh, there's a couple of cards in here. There's actually two different sleeves. All right, so the front pocket, um, let's see here. 2X radiation protection. Oh, Got to get that in there, into the camera. 2X radiation protection allows for calls and texts, helps to protect the phone. So what they're talking about is the actual front. There's two pouches, so you have the back pouch right there. You can see it's full of, it's actually sewn into uh, RF frequency blocking and energy, actually radiation blocking uh, material. And then you have the, uh, the, the front pocket, which actually allows you to uh, put your phone in it, put things inside of it that you want to be able to receive text and so on, but still offer some protection. Um, and then, like I said, the back is... I mean, at a certain point, this is pretty straightforward stuff, guys. There's no real magic to this. You either have good material or you don't. This appears to have good material. Now, we're going to find a way to test this here shortly, and I'm going to show it to you, show you the whole thing. On the back, there's a little belt loop back here, so you can stick it on your belt. I don't know if I'd ever wear it, but, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of elegant. We're going to put the phone in it in a second. Then you've got this little zipper pack right here, which also has the same... RF protection. Uh, get that in the front of the camera so you can read that. You can freeze frame that and read it. Hopefully it's not backwards. And um, the zipper pouch will stop unauthorized scanning of credit cards. You can put your wallet in here. Guard against theft of personal information from RFID card skimmers. Uh, protect credit cards, passports, and other RFID devices. The zipper pouch will not prevent keys, key fobs from being scanned or copied. So this front pouch will not protect your key fob. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a very basic test, and obviously the back pocket stops all cell signal. You guys can free frame on that and read it. I'll read it to you. Stops all cell signals, anti-radiation, location blocking. Note the top flap of the EMF sleeve must be completely closed and Velcro attached in order to stop all cell signals from being received and to enable the location blocking feature to work effectively. So front pocket, back pocket front pocket, back pocket, front pocket. There you go. Okay, so we're going to put that right there, and we're going to put the front pocket right there, and we're going to put that little thing of my bobby right there. Let's move this over. There we go. All right, so uh, right off the bat, um, I like the way the fabric feels. Let me see if I can get that. I like the way the fabric feels. Um, it does seem as if it's going to get dirty kind of easily, but I've noticed that the stitching is actually halfway decent. Um, I do like that the sides aren't just uh, single stitch, they look like double stitching. Uh, the Velcro itself is very simplistic, uh, which makes it easier. One of the problems that I find with these kind of uh, uh, packets, is there something else in there? I feel like there's something else in there. Let's see, maybe I missed another card or something. There's something, oh, it's that. That's what I'm feeling right there. All right, so, uh, but like I said, 
they uh, they make it too difficult to seal. This is very easy. It's just it's the the fabric itself makes it very easy to seal. And uh, I'm going to get a little cat hair on there for you. Uh, and um, it just seems all in all a very solid uh, piece of gear. It's got their little logo on it. Uh, and I do have this is the uh, a Galaxy uh, 13 Plus. So if this is a larger phone, so it it'll fit. I'll put a little graphic up here someplace so you guys can actually see the measurements on it. And you, the phone, it fits in there pretty easily. It's like I said, it's a large phone. There's still plenty of play up here for that Velcro for it to even move around inside. You can, yeah, I can feel it moving around in there. Um, as far as uh, like protection from like banging on it or nah, I mean maybe a little, but I wouldn't use that as a determining factor. Uh, but like I said, you get the Velcro on there, you can seal that all the way up, and now it's not supposed to let in any type of uh, uh, radiation energy and basically all EMF energy is radiation anyway so um, so we're gonna give this little test and the way we're gonna do that is as you can see we're gonna turn on the phone the phone is on already and we're gonna see um, oh it, it's already working guys it's already working so I literally have to like let you see the you know what I'm just gonna don't look at that there we go all right so Hopefully it can focus, but you can see that I actually have, it looks like three or four bars, and I'm connected to Wi-Fi, okay? And there's the current time. I get a little message here from the X, but whatever. And you, now you can see all my apps. You can see all my apps, but that's okay. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to put it inside of here, and we're going to seal it up, and we're just going to give it like a minute, not even that. We're just going to give it a little bit of time. And uh, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to open it up, and hopefully we'll be able to see. See if I can position this correctly, so you can, like, I can pop it out immediately. And you can see that it wasn't. Ah, there we go. See, it actually lost all its signal. It's down. It went down to one bar, and it killed the Wi-Fi. See that? And now it's all coming back. And hopefully you guys can see that. And the Wi-Fi is taking its real sweet time reactivating. There it goes. And hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, I'm going to try and zoom this in to make sure that you can see it. But it is actually working. Now, another way to test this is uh, with an EMF meter. But my EMF meter is not sensitive enough to do radiation at the cellular level. If you, if you take one of these EMF meters, they're designed to find EMF fields in electrical outlets. Um, I'm think, trying to think of a way to use this, and if I can get it into this test, I will. Uh, but if I can't, then what we're going to do is we're going to do a sound test. Okay, guys, uh, this is a quick insert. I did figure out a way to use my, uh, my EMF meter. See, it's actually picking up the EMF stuff from the camera itself. And what I did was, if I take this the detector and put it right up there, it goes crazy, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the pouch. Let me, ah, oh, you, you, you don't like any of this at all. There's so many stuffs going on here for this little device. It's so sensitive. I'm trying to do this. I'm stretching over the table and doing some crazy stuff. But I'm going to put it in the pouch, in the back part, just like that. I'm going to close it up. Right in front of you guys. I, guess I feel like I'm doing like a magic trick. Watch my hands. All right. And then we're going to take, there's the tip of it right there. And we're going to take that and we're going to push it right back up where it was before. Hmm. What am I doing wrong? Oh, I think the pouch wasn't closed all the way. Hold on a second. There you go. Close the pouch all the way, guys. Close the pouch all the way. Okay? And that sound test is going to involve my sound meter. Okay? And all we have to basically do is basically turn it on, and it's going to pick up the ambient sound in the room. And you can see, you can see the numbers. They're changing. Like every time I speak, it starts to make it. Let's put this on slow real quick so that you can see the changes. Like when I speak... The louder I get, those numbers change. Can you see the numbers? There we go. Let's try that again. The louder I get, you can see the numbers get higher, okay? 
And uh, this is obviously, this is the low number right here. So what we do is, uh, let's go with um, uh, min max. This right now is set on max. And what it'll do is it, it's locked out at the max, as loud as it'll go. So if I get louder, see how it stays locked right there? And what we'll do is we'll put this next to the device so you can see that the sound is not actually changing when we actually give it a call. So we're going to reset this. And we're going to put it back on minimum. Actually, we're going to put it right there. There, it's on minimum right now. Okay, We're going to click it back over to, I need to reset this. All right, you slackers, listen up. Did you know that we actually have a shoot, no shoot expert who's going to be speaking at Prep Stock? He's one of our lecturers, and he's going to tell us all about how to how to do the things that we're supposed to be doing lawfully with our firearms, situations, and things of that nature. So if you have got your tickets for Prep Stock 2024, Nebo, North Carolina, 12th through the 13th of October this year, the sky is not going to fall. You're going to survive. The world will continue to spin. Go get them now. Link in the description. No, I've moved away from it. So I have a remote mic. I've moved away from it so that you... Yeah, you might be able to see some changes. I'm no, really not sure. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to call it from my Google phone, and we're going to see if the sound changes. Let's give it a try. Speakerphone activated. Okay. Hello. Please state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to connect you. This is LP trying to connect to LP's Google phone. Right, I got one of those. Hopefully I haven't bored you too much, and then we're going to, there we go. As you can see, it really was working, and if we uh, turn this back off of min-max, uh, it should actually be, I'm sorry, high something fast. You have to reset it to get it to go back to where it's like picking up all the sound instantaneously. There we go, and that's actually slow. If we go back to fast, you can see where it changes. Like It's crazy fast. It's crazy fast. So you can see the sound. There's definitely a variable, and the phone never rang. So that's one of the greatest ways to know that this system is actually working. Now, there's no way to truly know if this will protect you from, like, the EMPs or whatever, okay? But the reality is, is that this is offering you a greater level of protection. And what I really like about it is just, it's just a great little it's just a great little piece of kit to have. You can stick a cell phone in it. You put your credit cards inside of it. This is a great little piece of kit to have. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, put a link for this uh, 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 this pouch uh, down in the description. If you're interested, you're adults. Spend your money as you see fit. Uh, but uh, I'm going to I'm going to start incorporating this into some of my. Uh, some of my daily stuff here. Let's take this out and let's see here. There we go. And then there we go. It's it's try it's starting to try and reconnect right now. Uh, looks like the 4G came back up. And let's do that. Let's do that one more time. Make sure I've got it in the right the back pouch, which blocks everything. All right. We're going to close it up. There we go. We're going to wait a few minutes. We're not even minutes, but I do like the fact that they have their uh, instructions that they actually send you at like how to do this step by step, how to use it properly. I do like that they identify what's in the packets, what they're doing. All right, here we go. We're going to try this, get this out fast. Yeah, it just, the, the 4G comes back really, really fast. Um, but the reconnection with the Wi-Fi uh, is obviously slower. Hopefully that's where you can see it. Hopefully it's not too close. Come on, Wi-Fi. Let's go. 
fired up. You can do it. All right, well, we're not going to wait for the Wi-Fi to reconnect. Guys, over, overall, great little piece of kit here. Um, I, I'm going to be using this. Uh, they sent this to me. Uh, obviously, this is a what you would consider a spon paid sponsorship or something. But for a video, for, uh, you know, for a, a free piece of kit, I'm definitely going to be uh, using this in my day-to-day. -day. Um, like I said, I will leave some links below. Um, uh, if you're interested in that, I'll throw that link down there, too, because some people love these, love these little uh, sound meters. I'm going to go min-max. And max. That way I have a know if my voice gets too. See if I can keep my voice under 70. I don't think I can, though. The man voice always seems to come out. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think that's going to be about it for right now, guys. Uh, as usual, if you like what I'm doing, make sure you hit that thumbs up button on the way out the door. Uh, if you have not become a YouTube member, there is a link in the description. Um, and uh, yeah, solid piece of kit. Stay safe. Have a great day, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.